Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a thrift haul from Salvation Army. And boy, did I find some goodies. I am very excited about this thrift haul. I haven't found stuff like this in the Salvation Army for quite some time. Let me tell you. <laughs> so when I found these things, I was like, I'm grabbing them. Even though I did have to pay up. I'm, pardon me. I'm just trying to get the sticker off of this one. Even though I did have to pay up for quite a few of these items. I did not care because it was worth it. Let me just say that. So I'm going to make you wait till the end to let you know what I spent. So get to, get those gears working in there, everyone, and use your math skills and see if you can figure out about what I spent. All right, let's get started. So I did get this for me. I am going to, um, y'all remember um, when people made the, the, the fabric covered photo albums with the lace and all that? Well, I used to make those and my daughter has asked me to make one for Winnie. So I did order um, an eight by 10 one online and then I found this one. So I'm gonna do this one as well because she bought enough fabric for like three. So <laughs> I might as well take advantage. So that's why I bought this photo album. And it's got the, the pages like that. So that's a me item. Then I found this. This was hand painted and signed by Joan. Um, there's no date on it. This was a ceramic piece. She's, she scratched out the mold, so I can't tell who the mold maker was, but look at that. Look at how cute. Isn't that adorable? So it's made to sit on your table, but I'm sure if you wanted to, you could find a way to hang it on your wall or prop it up on a shelf up against the wall absolutely adorable i had to get this and owls are extremely popular so i loved that i found um one of these awesome mirrored vanity trays it's in great condition it's got some scratching on there as you can see but for the most part it's really in fantastic shape the bottom is in great condition. Oh, hello. <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice one. So we got that. That's probably, that's got to be about 18 inches long. That's a nice size one. Then I got this set of coasters. These are... Um, Forged aluminum, trying to read the name, Everlast. So there's two, four, six, eight of these. I love these. I think these are awesome. I have a tray with um, flowers and stuff on it like this on my coffee table. 
But I have, I do have coasters there, but I might switch them out and keep these and sell my vintage coasters that I have sitting there. I don't know. So many decisions. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you, that, how funny is this? I have um, a vintage Drippolator coffee pot, which was missing the basket um, that goes with it. And I, I was going to sell it at my last sale, but I said, no, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, but I, I did, I was going to sell it and I had it out. And then when I went to Salvation Army, I found this. So, this sits in the top of the coffee pot. This goes in here with your coffee. This sits on top of your pot. And then this is the little lid that goes on here. Um, I can't, it's hard to get in there. Um, but, so at least I have the pieces now that I can sell that Drippolator. Uh, I'm gonna show it to Scott and see what he thinks, if it would work, you know. But yeah, I was very happy to find this and I could not believe that I found it. The thrifting gods knew I was looking for it, you see? So, perfect. Then I got this little guy. He's, he was a souvenir from Bermuda. He is a salt or pepper shaker. I could not find his little mate, but he was so cute. I just couldn't leave him behind. Look how cute he is. I love, I love uh, anthropomorphic salt and pepper shakers. I have a little collection of them. So he is adorable. Uh, then I found this. This is a Lefton cup and saucer set. I'll show you the bottom. And it's this beautiful blue paisley pattern. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? It's got gold, uh, gold detailing. Here's the saucer. And this, the saucer actually has the Lefton sticker. So I was like, I got to get that. That's a beautiful cup and saucer set. Um, let me see. Let's do these. I got these. I just love this. Um, if y'all remember back uh, in December, I had sold a set of Thomas Pacconi Mercury glass ornaments. Well, this is a box that uh, one of his collections came in. Now it's not hinged or anything, but I'm like, what a cool box, right? I mean, you could put spices in here in your kitchen, in here, in here for your kitchen. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could just prop this behind it or whatever. I'm like, that is so cool. So I picked that up. I love it. And I also found this one. Look at this one. There's the lid. This is Museum Thomas series. So something else of his was in here as well. But what an awesome box, right? For decor, you could, I mean, you could use these for anything. Storage, I mean, they're, it's great. It's great. I loved, I had to get them. I had to get them. They were great, great pieces. Functional, decorative, you name it. Um, I mean, I don't know what I would sell them for. I mean, I could probably sell them for, you know, like $16, $12 for the smaller one. 
you know. But I just thought they were great. And if nobody buys them, I'm going to use them. <laughs> All right. So now let me show you. Let me show you this stuff first. I got this for myself. I wanted to hang it in my hallway. However, I can't hang it in the middle of the wall because I have the light switch and my thermostat. And they're not far enough apart for me to hang this, which really irritates me. Um, I really wish I could move the light switch over. <laughs> However, look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness. I love this. Oh, it was half price too. I paid $10 for it, you guys. $10. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. This, if I didn't have shelves in my bathroom above my toilet, I would hang this above my toilet. Oh my God, and this is like solid wood, okay? So, it's pine, it's made out of pine. I almost lost my marbles when I saw that. Yes, yes. Um, I found another wood piece. Now, uh, this looks like it was a headboard to a little uh, a doll's bed or something because it's got these little slats there where the um, braces would go. But look at it. It's solid oak, right? I know I can do something with this. I just think this is an awesome piece. Yipper. So that came home with me as well. Ugh. I also got this beautiful card table um, cloth. Tablecloth. How pretty is this? Show you up close. This was all hand done. I do not believe that it was machine stitched. That's the back side. This is a beautiful card table tablecloth. I love it. Perfect for spring. You could put this on top of a tablecloth on your table beautiful. I got this for my son, my son Tyler. Yes, Buffalo Sabres. Long sleeve. So we got that for the son. And then I got this awesome handmade afghan, guys. Look at this. I love this pattern. Isn't this pretty? It's big too. I mean, it's a nice size. This is nice to cover up with on the couch. Heck yeah. So I would say it's like four by three would be my guess. Yeah, I had to pick that up. I haven't washed it yet, but it, it smells, it, do, it doesn't smell, I should say. It smells good. So that was an awesome find as well. Okay, let me pick up my water off the floor and my Kleenex. All right, now. 
The time has come for the paying up for items. Yes. But it was worth it. It was so, so worth it. Okay, ready? Okay. So, now these are not anything exciting, but they're beautiful. I got this beautiful red crackle uh, pitcher with an applied handle. Such a pretty shade of red. That one was a beauty. Then I got this one. And it glows like the Dickens. It's got an applied handle. Wow, look at that. Stunning! Then I found this awesome, um, like a, a, look at that, you guys. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's like a honey color. Gorgeous. This is Fenton. Look at that. Little creamer. Woo, woo, woo. Another Fenton. Daisy and Button. Awesome! All right. Then I got this. This is a beautiful cranberry vase. This is actual cranberry colored glass. It is not flashed on color, okay? Love the paneled um, pattern on here. I got this gorgeous EAPG vase. Look at that. Uh, EAPG, for those of you that do not know, is Early American Pressed Glass. And this is absolutely gorgeous. There's the bottom. This is Fenton. Now there's no sticker on it, but I would bet my butt, and there's a lot of butt to bet, trust me. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at this. Now this is, you put a candle in here. It's a reverse, um, is it a reverse candle holder or something like that? Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, oh my gosh, look at it. Heck yeah, heck yeah. I will pay up for this all day long. The final piece. Now, I do believe that this is actually cranberry colored glass. Um, it's cut to clear. I don't see any like scratches or paint loss or anything on this. But again, I am not a glass connoisseur. I, I could be wrong, but I, I really believe this is cranberry colored glass cut to clear. Oh my word. This is absolutely amazing. And this is crystal because this is heavy. OMG. All right.
the time has come for y'all to take a guess at what I spent for these items today. You ready? $104.77. I did damn good. I did damn good. Because I know that I could probably sell this for at least 40 bucks. This I could probably sell for about 18. This I could probably sell for about 40. This I could probably sell for about 18, 20 dollars. And all these little uh, vases and stuff, I can probably sell for between, uh, I would say between $14 and $18 each. So, I done good. I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, showing it to you because I... I, I get excited when I go into a thrift store and find items like these. And trust me, it doesn't happen all that often. So I could not wait to film this for you and I cannot wait to upload it so you can see all of these treasures. So guys, that's it for this thrift haul video from Salvation Army. Please give me a thumbs up, share, Comment and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.